this film, we will show you how to replace the air suspension module on the front axle of a Mercedes W221. It's very important that you follow the instructions exactly as shown. Remove the ignition key when working on the air suspension module. You need tools and equipment provided by the vehicle manufacturer to replace the air suspension module. First, remove the suspension strut from its packaging and read the assembly instructions. Check the modules against the installation instructions. Measure the vehicle's height before dismantling the air suspension module. Measure from the center of the wheel hub to the lower edge of the wing. Note down the result. Next, jack up the vehicle and remove the wheels. Check the suspension thoroughly for any damage. Use diagnostic equipment to bleed the compressed air from the system. Wear suitable protective eyewear when working on compressed air systems. Caution. Residual air may escape when dismantling the compressed air line. Secure the line with a blind plug. Remove the brake line holder that is fastened to the air suspension strut. Carefully disconnect the electrical plug-in connections on the suspension strut. Use suitable tools to dismantle the height sensor linkage. Use a suitable device to disconnect the ball joint from the upper control arm. The nut must not be used again. Remove the bottom two retaining screws from the air suspension module. Once the bottom two screws have been removed, you can pull the air suspension module off the ball joint on the lower control arm. Once you have loosened and removed the nuts on the strut tower, the air suspension module can be removed. Caution, secure the suspension strut. Remove the air suspension module. Do not remove the safety label until you are ready to install the part. Next, position the new air spring module and bolt it to the strut tower using new self-locking nuts. Position the suspension strut on the ball joint on the lower control arm and fasten with new screws. Caution, make sure the strut is positioned correctly. Tighten the retaining screws to the manufacturer's specifications. Mount the ball joint for the upper control arm in the hub carrier. Caution, use a new self-locking nut. Fasten the plastic holders for the brake line to the suspension strut with new cable ties and put the brake line in place without tensing it. Connect the electrical plugs on the suspension strut to the vehicle. Make sure the cables are lying correctly and the retaining clips are positioned correctly.
bolt on the height sensor linkage. Once the air suspension module is successfully installed, the wheels can be mounted. The tightening torque specified by the manufacturer must be observed. Take the new O-ring out of its packaging, discard the white cap, and mount the O-ring on the vehicle's compressed air connection. Handle the new O-ring with care to avoid damaging it. Position the compressed air line on the air suspension module and bolt tight using the tool specified by the manufacturer. Never lower the vehicle from the lifting equipment while the air suspension is depressurized. Only lower the vehicle until it touches the ground. Lower the lifting equipment further until the vehicle stands at a measured height of 400 millimeters. Start the vehicle and wait for at least two minutes. Then activate the elevation function in the onboard system. The cockpit displays the message vehicle is being elevated. Once elevation is complete, lower the vehicle entirely from the lifting equipment. Check the compressed air connection for seal integrity. Using a suitable torque wrench, tighten all threaded connections loosened during the replacement process to the manufacturer's specifications. Always align the axles after working on suspension parts. Bielstein. Drive the legend.